Hello troublemakers, welcome into another movie commentary Monday. It is officially the Christmas season. And you know that because a new Vanessa Hudgens Christmas movie has come out. As you can see, Princess Switch 3, Romancing the Star. Then we got the Princess Switch, look at this, switched again. The Night Before Christmas, which is a whole other thing, which I'm pretty sure it's like interconnected universe of Vanessa Hudgens Christmas movies. Let me give you a brief recap. If you're a newer viewer uh, to the channel and you haven't seen the, the first two videos, in the Princess Switch, the first movie, Two Vanessa Hudgenses exist. One is a princess and one is a baker and they're both fed up with their lives or something and then they switch places. There's the American Vanessa Hudgens and then the princess of like Bibablia or something like, like it's like some weird country. You know how those plots go. They switch places and then while they're switched, they fall in love so they have to lie which is always a great way to start a relationship through a lie. <laughs> both the guys find out they've been tricked and duped and manipulated and they both decide, wow, that's really messed up. We should probably marry these people now. So that's what happens. Over the next two movies, there's another Vanessa Hudges that comes in. I'll talk about it as we go into the movie. Before we start the movie, though, I need to talk to you guys about Audible. <laughs> Audible has been so loyal to me. They've sponsored me so many times. Audible has been as loyal to me as Netflix is to making these dumbass Vanessa Hudges movies. <laughs> if you don't know what Audible is, it's the world's leading provider of spoken word entertainment. They have approximately 1 billion audiobooks. That's not an official number. <laughs> but they just have a massive library of audiobooks. It is such a good service. Once you start using it, you get hooked. It's always nice to sit down and be able to read a book, but like, who really has that time? It's nice to be able to listen to an audiobook as you're on the go or while you're doing other things. I actually just started listening to Before I Fall, which I thought was gonna be awful. I thought it was gonna be like this melodramatic teen drama thing, but it actually has more depth and more heart than I thought it was going to. And I'm kind of hooked. It's about a popular girl who dies, which is super fun, but then she keeps reliving that same day. I'm assuming by the time I finish it, she'll have figured out the loop and then get out of it. Or maybe she'll just keep dying forever and there's a sequel and she keeps dying in the sequel. That would be awesome. And actually Audible has a new holiday deal that they're offering if you use my link, which of course is as always audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble. A link for that will be in the description. Or you could just as simply text Dylan is in trouble to 500 500. They are discounting for three months. It is now like over 60% off. It's 595 a month. Every month you get one credit to spend on any audiobook across all of Audible. And a lot of these audiobooks go for like 15, 20, 30 dollars, even 40 sometimes. So basically for the next three months, you're getting three audiobooks that would probably sell for like $60. You're going to be getting that for about 15. It's actually a really good holiday deal. And then also, of course, you get access to the plus catalog, which are just on demand listens, huge library in its own rights. So yeah, if you haven't signed up for Audible at this point, give it a try. Now's a great time to do it because they have the holiday special. It'd mean a lot to me. And I think you would also end up enjoying it a lot. It would also make a great gift. You get somebody a membership three months, $5.95 a month. So yeah, it's like $17. It's a good price gift. You can get them one audiobook and then in the next two months they can choose their own audiobooks. It's a gift that kind of like continues to give. That's actually a really good idea. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video and for continuing to sponsor me throughout the year. Now let's watch The Princess Switch... S switch the, th the third time. All right, here we go. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a baker... Okay, so she's gonna do the recap. I think my recap is pretty great. Nessie. Who looks just like Margaret, the Duchess of Montanaro. <laughs> Montanaro. Bibaglia, or whatever I said, is way better. Montanaro. That sounds like Monte Carlo. That's a car. Bibaglia is better. Bibaglia is canon now, okay? So yeah, they switch. And married the handsome Prince Edward. Yep, so that's the baker, and then that's the princess in the second one she married the American's friends. Their cousin Fiona, who looks like both of us and is so over the top, impersonated her in an attempt to steal the throne. Fiona was caught and sentenced to many years of community service. And she gets community service for treason? She committed treason. You nearly upended a whole country. You can't community service. I thought she should go to jail, but- Yeah, everyone did. Margaret says she's family. Well, I'm sorry, say that one more time? I thought she should go to jail, but Margaret says she's family. So as queen, you are br giving favors to your family. So your family can commit crimes and their punishment's gonna be far less because they're your family, which is called negligence. No. What's the word for when you, you give favors to your f your family? Negligence is pop- I know it's not negligence. It just pops in my head. And my brain's like, yeah, it's this one. <laughs> I've been here for minutes now. Nepotism! Ah, I had the N-E. The Vatican has loaned us the Star of Peace. The Vatican? The Pope's doing you favors? I feel like we're making history. 
watch how they cut. In history. Cut to Vanessa. Cut back to Vanessa. To Vanessa again. See, what I wanted was for them to add another Vanessa. Every year there's like more. That would be fun. Because at this point you've like, you're you're not grounded in reality anymore. Like the first one, a little bit, but then the, by the second one, it's getting off the rails. It's all about hijinks and fun. Add like an army of Vanessa Hudgens clones that come in and steal a star. But then at the end, one of the Vanessas can like, she learns that she can control the Vanessa army, <laughs> the clone army. And then she sticks it on the, the, the Vatican for control over the religious establishment of the world. Ooh, Vanessa takes control of the Vatican and she instills herself as the new God of this world. Vanessa Hudgens becomes God. That is such a good plot. How are we not going there? Montanaro Royal Palace? What's Montanaro? Never heard of it. Bibablia. Hey, Liv. Merry Christmas. We miss you, darling. I love the Ballet Academy. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> this man ditched his daughter for his new woman. He's like, daughter, I'll send you to some boarding school across the world. I'm moving to Biblia. Trying to think, if if I had a chance to be a king, would I give up a child? And the answer, I, I don't even have to think too hard. I'd give up multiple children. I, I would give them all up, however many I had. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, Della, don't be so heartless, but king? King Dylan, imagine that. I can. Well, that makes 11 ambassadors. It's so Christmassy. I love it. Lo look at that. Look at that. Woo, I like that. I'm so easy to please. Just put some Christmas lights in the background and I'm happy. I'm so glad I have you to help me with all this crazy last minute stuff. We make a great team, don't we? No sexual chemistry though. They have no sexual chemistry. Remember how the second one started? If you don't, the second one started with him being like, hey, I am so horny. And she was like, I gotta go. <laughs> and she left for a solo vacation. She's faking it. He's too boring. As He's a boring white man. He's like a stock white man. He, like, you pull him out of a catalog. But because you pull him out of a catalog, his personality's also paper thin. I'm terribly sorry to interrupt your majesty, but, well, a bit of a situation. <laughs> I wish that every time they say situation, they would say situation. Yeah, play into it. Superintendent of police. The police? In a vault? Wait, is the thing stolen already? Oh, wow. They broke into a vault? Who could it, who, who? The guards were drugged. Whoever did this came prepared. Oh, who could it be? Just please promise us you'll get it back in time for the ceremony. I'm afraid that would be a pie crust promise. Easily made, easily broken. Oh, dear. We'd like to- What police chief would talk like that? I believe that would be a, what do they call it? A Pie crust promise. Just say no. Like, we can't, we got, we got, it's too hard. A pie crust promise. And then you have to go on to explain what a pie crust promise is, because no one knows what it is. These Bibobblian people, man. The, the Bibobblian police are so inept. Possible. The breach came from within Vatican security. Just know we're doing everything we can. Police. The police chief. I bet it's her. A pie crust promise? I don't trust her. She's talking weird. When the crown jewels of Belgravia were stolen, oh, my grandfather, the king, was nearly deposed. No. Helping. Bits and pieces. Ah. A ruby here, a, a sapphire there, a diamond. <laughs> Come on. Ah, he's so he's so boring. I was trying to listen to him, but like every time he talked, like my brain instantly shut off. I'm not making the choice. My brain is choosing to do this. I don't control my brain. The police are handling it. They have no clues and no leads. I bet it's the police! What we need is someone with information that the police don't have. Someone with connections to the black market. It wouldn't hurt if they were just a little bit crooked. A little crooked? <sighs> yes, indeed. We need a person who actually thinks like a criminal, who has a history of never considering consequences, and has absolutely no fear of breaking the rule. No, we get it, we get it. Why? This took so long to set up. Who could possibly fit this role? And everyone's like, ah, the third Haji! But instead of cutting to the third Haji being like, hmm, interesting proposition. Instead of doing that, they're like, hmm, who could we possibly think of that is a little crooked and doesn't follow the rules and doesn't play by the book and da -da -ba -da -da -da. And again, we're all like, eh, the third Haji. And then they just keep going like, hmm, I can't imagine who would be the third person. Who could we get the star of David back? Mm. Just cut to it. God damn it. Don't play the, don't. How do we knew someone like that? Fiona. Fiona. Jesus Christ. I've always felt sorry for her. I think this past year at the- Stop showing him. He's so boring. I, I'm sorry, did you say something? Savage. This third Haji's the worst. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Mm. What a scrumptious surprise. Ew, shh. Ah, I can't, I don't, I don't know that I can listen to her. I don't, Oh, that, like, I hated that in my core. Mm. The kisses on the sides, mm. and then the scrumptious, the way she said scrumptious. 
scrumptious. I don't know that I can tolerate it. Oh my god. What brings you to my private little corner of purgatory? Oh, shut the fuck up, please. Will I be mopping and dusting? Oh, I, I can't, I don't know, I can't listen to her. Good news has arrived. Special delivery. Handle with care. Hmm. <sighs> I would have loved it if her sidekicks were fun. But her sidekicks are not fun. I hate, I hate, I hate. Oh, this is gonna be a hate watch. Still sore over our little mix up last Christmas. Where are you from? Where are you supposed to be from? Why is everybody's accent just different? Spicy. Why oh. do uh, I can't listen to her talk, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna start muting her. Me. Shh shh shh. Meow to you as well. Do we quit? Do we stop watching this movie? I don't <laughs> I'll try. I'll try it for you guys though. <laughs> Shut up. Mute. Okay, she's gone. Am I late for breakfast? Oh no. Oh, shh, 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 shh. No worries. Bye. But I do. And here. Does this associate have a name? I don't talk. I feel like I'm gonna miss some of the plot. I heard associate, so I'm assuming that the third Vanessa Hutchins, who I refuse to listen to speak, is setting them up with an associate. Well, trust me, he's the goat. He's a goat. Greatest of all time. Robin Burheim wrote Princess Switch 3. Robin. You are robbing me of a good time right now. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Snow, Christmas lights, castles, okay. You're looking well, Peter. How long has it been since you walked out to me that spring night in Barbados? Oh. She says you won't return her calls. I have nothing to say. It's Christmas. Give the old girl a break. I just don't care. I'm going 1.5. I'm doing it here. Can we talk business? She's more tolerable in 1.5 speed. Will you help? despite our colorful past. You know the answer to that. Oh, he's always there for her. I searched through the last three days of footage and came up with this. That's Itai Krauss. Do I know him? Indirectly. He works for an old friend of yours, Hunter Cunard. <laughs> this movie couldn't do a worse job of introducing you to characters. He's like, take a look at this person, dun dun. And it's like some person we've never seen before. And she's like, I don't know who this is. And he's like, right. But well, you only know him through this person, dun dun. It's another person we don't know. One wrong word to the wrong person and the star disappears forever. So what do we do? You steal it back. All right, here we go. You know what? Now we're getting into it. They're gonna go steal some shit. It's gonna be more action-packed. I'm excited. I started my own private security firm, which has proven quite lucrative. So what's your finder's fee? There is no fee. Why not? Let's just say I have my reasons. Uh, yeah, we get it. We get it. We get it. You don't have to make it that obvious. Just pass the last stand. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this man? Why is he walking like that? I can't wait to hear him talk. Stop the gun! Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Damn. What are you saying? You can't have got such a poodle. A oh, poodles grow on trees. Did she say poodles grew on trees, genius? Oh, look, it's a poodle tree. <gasps> Let's pick us a ripe one, shall we? Oh, I, I'm, I'm, if I see this writer has written a movie that I'm excited to see in the future, I will not see that movie. I don't know that I've ever seen a worse written script. Banter. If you can't write good banter, no, no, no. If you can't write even okay banter, then I'm not interested. That is, ho oh my goodness. Never, 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 ever, ever again. Now she's mad at me. I, his face is so... His face doesn't look real. If I saw a picture of this man, I would think it's photoshopped. He has like some of the cleanest skin I've ever seen in my life. It makes his whole face look not real. Look at this man. He's like, he's probably thinking about his skin. Have you been naughty in life? Fiona Pembroke. Is he gonna rival the boring white guy for the worst performance in this movie? Let's slow it down. Let's give him his, his opportunity to shine. I own the place. Now it's your turn. Well, the lounge here serves a candy cane martini. Then what are we waiting for? At least there's personality in his acting. So I don't think he's gonna have the worst performance. If I was a sentimental sort, I'd say you broke my heart. Know that you didn't just wander in here for the martinis. Yep, okay, fast forward. We're gonna have so much fun here. Look, Peter's staying as well. Don't go. Oh, here, you're done. Mommy's got a plane to catch. I mean. Uh, so she's got a sad childhood. Her mom doesn't care about her. This is, this is what that one guy who left his daughter at Ballet Academy across the world is doing to his daughter. We're looking at a time loop here. I'm so pissed right now. They didn't add a fourth Vanessa Hudgens. What's the plot? I'm never gonna make it. I'm never gonna make another. This is the last one. Princess Switch commentary. This is the last one. Unless they add more Vanessa Hudgies. The display case is surrounded by a web of laser motion detectors. 
This is a Christmas movie. <laughs> we gotta get through the motion detector lasers to save Christmas. What? This is gonna be like breaking into Fort Knox. We have very little time to practice. What happens if you do get caught? Well, this man has his own security team. Or he, he's got like his own, his own business. And he said it was very successful. So how does he not have employees that can help him with this? But they're so much more skilled than untrained princesses. He has a history of making the problem disappear forever. Oh, so if, if they fail, they die. We've forgotten the biggest problem of all. I have nothing to wear. You know, you never told us what our cat is for this little paper. Okay, so this is practice. This is an approximation of the motion sensor array in Hunter's gallery. And here we go. You need a, you need a partner to boost over that high beam. Precisely. Watch and learn. Ah, oh, here we go. Ah, uh, they're gonna have like a romantic moment too. When they come together, they're gonna have like a really romantic moment. Simmering sexual attention because he touched her foot and she's into that. <laughs> Meet me outside. Catch me outside. <laughs> you, you don't drive sports cars in this. Look at this thing. You can't drive this in the snow. You just can't. Oh, you can, but you shouldn't. Poor decision making. I wouldn't trust them. Yeah, well, the, all the characters from the first two movies are hardly in this. I don't like them that much, but I they're familiar at least. You don't make a third movie and then leave out all the main characters from the first two movies. What is this, Fast and the Furious? This is the Tokyo Drift of the Princess Switch movies. We still need two people to get around security in the gallery. But if Miss Pembroke could successfully impersonate Her Majesty, it stands to reason that Her Majesty could impersonate Miss Pembroke. But I did switch places with Stacy twice and no one was the wiser. Training places with Miss Pembroke? Well, that's a different matter entirely. <laughs> you switch places seamlessly with one twin of yours. But it is unreasonable to think that you could switch with your second twin. No way possible. What about this comb? I did, like, I bought a set of like, was it like nail clippers and this came with it. And I've just been scratching. It feels good. Maybe I need to do this while I watch the movie in order to enjoy this experience. Cause this feels really good. It really isn't that long. That's what she said. <laughs> oh. Minions, fetch me my champagne. Oh, she's good. Look, I have to check this. <laughs> well, here we go again. This is one of those movies where I'm not gonna recover for days. I kind of already feel my depression kicking in. Not to presume, Mr. Maxwell. Are we serious right now? If I was hiring an editor and they had this transition on their demo reel, I would not hire them. And that's for my videos. This is a big budget, big budget Christmas movie on Netflix. This is a Netflix movie that a professional editor edited. A big Vanessa Hudgens picture. And they use this transition? Did Robin edit this as well? <laughs> that's hard, that's hard to do, to shoot, because you know, the actresses have to touch and it's very hard to crop. So you have to use some CGI or you have to be very clever with your camera work. So good job, film, good job. I bet Robin wasn't on set that day. <laughs> Just shitting on Robin. Has it ever occurred to you that every time you start to feel something for someone, you pull away from me, from your family, from everyone. Uh -huh. I really think is that you're so hurt by what happened to you when we were kids. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Ba, 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 it's all you do, all you do. What do you like about her? Business it is. What is likable about her? Why do, why do people keep giving her breaks? Because she had a sad childhood? Welcome to the fucking world. Like 80% of people have sad childhoods, man. I'll get in the back. Ow! The disciplinary committee was set to review Miss Pembroke's case after Christmas. I've just received a call and they've pushed up her review. Oh, okay, okay, so now she has to imitate the queen. Well, that's not. For, oh, fuck it. Right, I don't care. Don't care. I don't care. I don't care. If it's discovered Miss Pembroke isn't here, then heads will roll, including mine. Oh, the committee will be me recommend a jail sentence. And not just for her. You're gonna go to jail because the queen got another person released from her community service? How would anyone be in trouble? Ah. Oh. Fiona's on, Fiona's on her way to Canard's party. I, I know what you're thinking. And no, no, absolutely not. Out of question. What is happening? What is this music? The fuck? Would you uh, like to see my Christmas tree? Why? <laughs> I wish you delivered that with like more implied innuendo for the adults at least. I'm a firm believer in pleasure before business. You nasty boy. <laughs> what if she has to actually bang him? to keep the cover. And that's the end of this movie, is like she has to justify her cheating. It's for the religious item. It's for religion, man. I cheated for God. You're very late. Correction, official man. I'm fashionably late. Miss Pembroke really has a good heart. Isn't our ability to forgive a measure of our own humanity? What's the point of being queen if you can't overrule people? What's the point of having royalty if you can't reign? Brutally. If I was someone released 
they're getting fucking released. If I want someone imprisoned, they're getting imprisoned. No questions asked. This is a dictatorship now. <laughs> Damn it. It's not connecting. Try my birthday. You and Hunter haven't been together for more than five years. He's not going to remember your birthday. Trust me. I made an impression. Hmm. Why? 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 <laughs> men are just incurably in love with her. Powerful men. Why? Name one endearing character trait about her. Her mom left her? Her mom doesn't even want to be around her. You think a man's gonna want... <laughs> Okay, that was mean. That was mean. But I meant it. Try my birthday. I think I left those earrings upstairs. Shall we go and fetch them? Oh, bang them. Bang them. You know what I'm thinking as I'm watching this scene? I miss Zac Efron. We hereby commute the remainder of your sentence. I'm not sure how I feel about getting Fiona off the hook. They're gonna set off some sort of alarm here. Hey. What's that? It's a sensor in the gallery. It's a weight pressure sensor. So you're saying that a pair of pliers is the same weight as this magnificently important star embedded with like rubies and diamonds. It weighs as much as a pair of pliers? Ah? <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, hey, hey! I've, I've cooled off now. I'll end again. That was the least hot kiss I've ever seen in my life. Peter had to stay behind to create a diversion. But he was able to escape. We don't know. Oh. Well, did you get the star? Oh, of course <laughs> I hope did. this movie ends where they're just like, oh, Christmas is saved. And then Peter's just like hiding in a gully somewhere. And all the characters just don't care. <laughs> he switched it, which means Peter has the star. Ooh. He fooled every one of us into thinking we could trust him. Oh, wait, Peter's a bad guy. <laughs> yes. St. Nicholas's star of peace. Oh, no, Peter's a good guy. Fuck off. Let him be bad. Where's the star, Peter? I needed to get your attention. I want the star. And you'll get it. But in exchange, I need you to pop around to the dining hall. She wants to talk to you. So that's why you double-crossed me. He double-crossed her so that he could set up a meeting with her mom. So that they could have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Fuck off. I was excited. Robin, you had me genuinely excited for your dumbass plot. You spent the whole film just playing into these cliches. Like she knew Peter as a child, they were tight, they were close. She can't truly love, but Peter's trying to break her icy exterior and finally he kind of gets inside her a little bit. You know what I mean? He breaks her icy shell and then he double crosses her. Like you set up all the cliches and then you break away from that. But instead you're like, you set up the cliches and you're like, slight misdirect? Nah, just kidding. We're gonna do all the cliches. This is the end of the line for us. That's a relief. What if her mom is Vanessa Hudgens? Oh, let it be Vanessa Hudgens in old person makeup. Come on. And then the next one, it could be like, her mom is like the fourth Haji, but she like time traveled from the past into the present. And now there's a fourth one. <sighs> boring. That's, it's a boring choice. I didn't think you'd come. That's what she said. That there has been a void in my life. Something missing. I love you more than anything or anyone. You always had somewhere else you had to be. I was running away. <laughs> no, not from you. Your father was cruel to me. And rather than suffer it, I did whatever I could to get as far away from him as possible. She's like, what, how, how old is this character? This Vanessa Hudgens, probably like 30, 32, 34, somewhere in there. You can't now as a mom be like, oh, I wanna get closer to you after abandoning you for 30 years. <laughs> I carried this around for years. Oh, I kept your stupid drawing all these years. That's how much you meant to me. Please, darling. It's too late. Yeah, fuck off, mom. Yeah. <laughs> Fiona. Yeah. Oh, what a heartfelt message from child Fiona. Merry Christmas, mom. <laughs> I wish it was heartfelt. It was like, mom, I love you. You're my favorite person ever. Where you going? Come back. Come back. We've got flight to catch. Boo. Boo. So good of you to come on such short notice. Oh, the cop. The cop It wasn't involved. Who do we have here? So will the two of you be staying with us for Christmas? Oh, why? He's excited. He's gonna cheat on his wife at some point. I mean, look at his moral character. He abandoned his daughter. Like, I'm pretty sure he's willing to leave women in his life for his own pleasure. I know you and I don't have that much in common. Really anything in common. <laughs> Except you're identical people. Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> hey, my family's from the Philippines. We do hugs. You know what they say about those Filipinos? Always hugging. Oh, Peter's gonna show up here. Talk about cliches. <laughs> Fuck. To apologize. <laughs> 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 
promise me you and I won't waste any more time. I promise. What do you mean? Why, why, why do you want him to promise? You're the one wasting time. Fuck out of here. He's been trying to date you for like 30 years since he was a child. Tease. Tease a fourth Haji. I don't want to see. I'm not. No. No more. The series is over. Oh, she has to kiss so many dudes in this movie, huh? Just back to back. <laughs> well, I hope you got paid a lot for this. All right. Another Haji. Another Haji. Let's go here. No, not a dance. Not a dance off. Oh, <laughs> the sadness is kicking in already. I, I, I have nothing in me. I can't even give a that's what she said joke. I just have no energy. It took so much brain power to try to find anything enjoyable in this movie that I am just gonna be depressed for three days. I used it all up. Dylan, it must be fun watching movies and giving your commentary for it for a career. You'd think. Until you gotta sit through this. <laughs> I I am fuck I am so sad, legitimately. But thank you for watching. Uh I'll see you in a couple days once I'm over my depression and um Toodles. <laughs>